Hello, this is John Tech Lock, and today I'm going to show you a really cool and interesting way to utilize your RAM to make your computer a lot faster. Now, this method is called RAM disk, um, or utilizing your RAM as um, as hard drive space, pretty much, where you have programs uh, running from the RAM without having to save into your hard drive. Um, of course, RAM is incredibly fast. RAM is pro is the fastest. Um, piece of hardware on your computer. If it wasn't for RAM, your programs would be running incredibly slowly um, because a hard drive can only do so much. Hard drive, a physical hard drive is always moving. Now, of course, with solid state hard drives, we're getting to the point where it can reach the level of RAM, but even then, RAM is so fast, um, which is why uh, when we run programs from the hard drive, it always constantly sends its data into the RAM. So when you're using the program, it doesn't slow down. Um, that's why you've seen um, over the years the size of RAM has been increasing uh, because programs need more RAM to run, um, and the things we need to do quickly need more RAM, of course. Um, now, the reason why RAM disk isn't so popular anymore, back then it was incredibly popular. It was probably one of the only ways to have some sort of decent computer. Um, I'm talking mostly about DOS and um, the first PCs. Uh, the reason why it's not popular anymore is because people don't have enough RAM. And I know it sounds insane, but uh, the average amount of RAM on a person's computer right now is 2 gigabytes. Um, if you're running Windows 7, um, and I'm running Windows 8, uh, if you're running Windows 7 at 2 gigs, uh, you're not getting a lot of uh, RAM left over. Um, so how much space would you really have for a RAM disk? Maybe about 400 megabytes? Not a lot. Um, but if you're like me and you have over uh, 10 gigs of RAM, I've got 16 gigs of RAM, DDR3 RAM on my laptop, and that's the uh, maximum amount of RAM. Um, so make sure you maximize the amount of RAM on your computer before you really want to do this. Um, of course, now if you have 10 gigs, go right ahead. Uh, if you have even 8 gigs, that's still a lot. Um, right now, you, I'm only using 2.5 gigs of memory, and I'm right, running uh, Camtasia. It's recording my screen. It takes a lot of RAM. But I have about 13 gigs uh, just you know waiting to be used and it's not being used currently um, so I realize that I do a lot of video editing I do a lot of audio editing um, I can really shorten the amount of time it takes to render uh, my productions if I just run my programs at a RAM and cut you know the hard drive from even having a huge role in the program uh, so what you'll need is this free utility called RAM disk um, configuration. Uh, the free version gives you four gigabytes uh, to create a RAM disk. The entirely full version you've got to pay for, it's around 25 bucks. Um, you get unlimited amount of RAM uh, to create a RAM disk. Now, um, the thing about data RAM disk configuration is uh, you're not really taking a risk, but if you only have three gigs of RAM or two gigabytes of RAM, you're not going to really be able to see a, a large difference. It's probably not going to even be that beneficial. If anything, um, you'll just see marginal improvements. Um, but let's say I'm going to create a two gigabyte RAM disk right now. So 2048 megabytes is equal to two gigs. Um, and what, what you can choose to do is load the disk image at startup. So, okay, so let's say I install Google Chrome on my RAM disk and I have this unticked. Uh, what that means is everything on my RAM gets deleted. It's non-volatile memory. Uh, or I'm sorry, it's volatile memory. So that means it gets, gets, it gets cleared every time your computer reboots or turns off. Um, if, I click the, if I tick this um, load disk image at startup uh, radio button, what it does is take what I have installed on my RAM and put it into hard drive, and then when my computer starts up, it pulls it out of the hard drive and puts it right back into the RAM disk. Um, and at the same time, we've got save disk image on shutdown, which is incredibly important. You've got to have both of these checked in order for uh, what I said uh, before to even occur and then of course event log and all this shit this doesn't really matter um, so, okay, so let's we go to settings uh, and let me open up my computer right now I have one hard drive on my computer as you can see it's just one uh, block when I hit start RAM disk it's gonna clear the device list it's gonna start the disk and it's gonna verify a driver and uh, once it does all of that 
I'm going to have a RAM disk uh, start successfully. So let's say, okay. Uh, sometimes this will happen, you're not going to see it right away. Right click on computer and hit manage. And what we're going to do is go into the storage utility and then disk management. And then we're going to see, there we go. So right now it says you must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it. Now a logical disk is something that, um, it could be a physical thing. But it doesn't use it as uh, memory to always, it doesn't use it as space to always store. It's very hard to explain. Um, just hit OK. All right. Now it says unallocated. Uh, that's fine. Um, we're going to right click it and we'll hit new simple volume. We're going to hit next. Uh, just hit next. We're going to assign a drive letter, hit next, and then format it as NTFS or FAT. It doesn't matter. I do NTFS. All right, so it's gonna it's gonna do all of this, and then bam, you got a new volume set up right here, and it's two gigs. It's two thousand forty megabytes. Around two gigs uh, is what you have left over after it does all its cache. Now you can X out of this or just minimize it. Um, and now let's take a look at what I can do here. This is where I install my programs. So I have Adobe Audition, I have uh, Adobe Premiere, I do a lot of audio editing, video editing, I have Photoshop. Um, and sometimes when I render large files, it takes a while uh, because it's transferring data from my hard drive straight into RAM and that takes time and then it does everything in RAM. Why don't we just cut uh, the connection it has with hard drive almost entirely and just dedicate all your programs into memory only and I can do this because I have 16 gigabytes of memory and I have 11 gigs right now doing nothing and two of those gigs is my RAM disk so I have two gigabytes to do entirely whatever I want so here I can install Adobe Audition um, on this RAM disk and then I can install um, other programs that I use that require a lot of memory. Now the beauty of this is that you can install, uh, you can set it up so that you have files on your RAM disk. So let's say in Adobe Audition, instead of putting your files onto your hard drive, drag your files into RAM. Um, I'll, I'll just do it uh, real quickly right here. Uh, let's say, um, all right, let's let's go online and let's download a program. Let's say we want to download Audacity. I don't have Audacity installed. Let's download Audacity. All right, so let's select that download. All right, so we're going to run it. So we're going to hit yes. It should ask you where you want to install right here. So in any of uh, any of any anything you're trying to install, there's always a prompt that tells you uh, where you want to select the destination location of uh, where you want to save the uh, the entire program. Instead of saving it into your C drive, go into your new volume. Um, this is your RAM disk, and hit OK. Now it's going to install everything here. So uh, let's hit next. Create a desktop icon doesn't really matter. Um, then hit enter. So it's going to extract all the files, and you see right here there's a new folder that's called Audacity. Uh, and then we're going to hit next. Don't launch it yet, so I want to show you guys how cool this is. Um, so, so instead of, it's not installed on my physical hard drive, it's installed on my RAM. So when I double click here, um, and then I go into my folder, and I run Audacity, it's going to boot up incredibly quickly. Um, it's going to be so fast when it loads. Bam, it's done. Um, anything that I want to do, if I want to drag and import files, uh, I can do that incredibly quickly, and it's pretty damn amazing how fast these things are now. Um, so let's say I want to put California Love into my Audacity. It's going to import from my hard drive, and now it's here. Um, if I want to generate, if I want to create an effect, and let's say I want to compress it um, and get rid of the threshold and put it in negative 31 dB, look how fast it does it. It's incredibly quick. If I was to do this on my hard drive, it would have taken at least another 30 seconds, and that's not exaggerating um, because it's taking a file from my hard drive, putting it into my RAM disk as temporary place, um, and then run, and the program is running off of my RAM entirely. Now, even what would be even better is if I put my California Love file into my RAM disk, which is what I should be doing. All right, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go into Libraries and Music, iTunes, iTunes Media, Music, and Tupac. 
All right, greatest hits, California Love. I'm going to paste it right into my RAM disk. So bam, it's saved in my RAM disk. Uh, I'm going to go into Audacity and load that up again. All right, so Audacity's up. I'm going to show this again. All right, file, import, audio. And then we're going to go into computer, volume, California Love. Bam, it's going to import. Let's say I want to do a compressor again and then change things incredibly quick. I mean, the fact that it applies things within seconds is amazing. Um, I've never seen anything this quick. Um, and it's remarkable because it's using a file that's already in RAM. It's applying things within RAM and just decreases the amount of time it takes to do things. Now, using Audacity might not be a huge um, thriller, right? I mean, once you start doing large things, this is really, you're going to see its effect when you're uh, even doing some gaming. Uh, when you're doing a lot of video editing and photo editing, put everything, everything into your RAM disk and then watch uh, how high your productivity level will go. Um, it's going to decrease a lot of um, wasteful time transferring information from your hard drive into your RAM. Just put everything in a RAM and, and you're good. So you can close out of that and I can stop this RAM disk. It'll save the disk image file onto my hard drive. There's a cache folder uh, that it sets up. So bam, it stops the RAM disk. You go into your task manager, you get your RAM back. So now I'm only using 2.6 gigs. So here you can see the peak is when I had my RAM disk loaded. And then bam, it's going to go decrease. And I can restart the RAM disk. It's going to put back all the files that I had um, in my hard, in, in my previous session. So Audacity is going to be there. So is California Love. So that's what RAM disk does. Essentially, decreases a huge amount of time um, in, uh, because it just allows you to save everything into your RAM without having to access the hard drive. So kind of getting rid of the middle guy. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, download the program. I'm going to have it in my description. Um, so make sure you download it from there. And um, yeah, pretty much try to make your computer as quick as possible, optimize it. And this is one of the best ways to do it. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, and please subscribe and share this video. Mm-hmm. <sighs>